also in political coverage this evening at 9, a bill in the Missouri House had people traveling all over the state to testify in a public hearing last week. Color 10's Madison Heaver has what this bill is and why it's controversial to some people. Madison? Yeah, David, it's a bill that would require transgender student athletes to play sports with the gender assigned at birth. Children, parents, and experts from all across the state traveled to Jefferson City to voice their opinions on the bill. Because people against the bill say it could increase suicide rates among trans students. They also say there's already a governing body with rules when it comes to Missouri pu public school athletics. The Missouri State High School Activities Association, which does have guidelines for trans students, students that wish to participate in high school sports. Minority floor leader Crystal Quaid told me the conversation last week was emotional for her to listen to. If this was to go into effect, you would have young tra trans children who would, for instance, be going to school all day long as a boy, you know, as the gender that they that they are um, go that they are going by, and say they're using the preferred name. Everyone at school refers to them as a boy, and then they would go and play on the girl sports team afterward. The House bill was proposed by Republican Representative Robert Ross, but there's a similar one in the state Senate. The Senate bill sponsor, Republican State, state Senator Cindy O'Loughlin, said this in January. And then I started seeing in the news where across the country you, you had women who were being beat by biologically born men in big competitions. And I thought, you know, I, I just don't think people think that's right. I want to be supportive of all people, but I want things to be fair. This would be a constitutional amendment, meaning this decision would be sent to the voters to approve or not.